it's good to note that marriage is not about two very similar people. Mm. It's actually about two very different people. You want to start realizing maybe I like to because I am a quiet person. Yeah. yeah. I'm not in a like, wow, mm. mm -hmm. I'm to talk. Then I get into the house and I get mm. tired of the talks. Because mm. it's now an everyday thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I realize I can't even sustain this yes. kind of thing. So again, the opposite becomes an issue. If your love is blind, then the marriage <laughs> will open <laughs> that eye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kariboni. So today we are actually going to talk about what marriage is. More than how we've been doing it, we have been decoding the process of, you know, friendship to dating to relationships and of course to courtship and marriage. But today we want to really know what is this thing we want to get into because most of the time we really feel like as long as I'm in love with someone then it's okay for me to get married and it's all I need to get married. I mean, sometimes we really don't understand the responsibility it takes to keep that marriage and we don't prepare for it. So stay tuned because we have so many things we want to tell you today. And of course our guests are going to tell us more. So as we mm. have said, we want these young people to understand what marriage really mm. is. Because they feel like maybe marriage is a, is a union of two lovers yeah. who just come in and some of them maybe think Marriage is all mm. about having children, you know. Some of them think marriage is all about all but a stage in life. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I just have to finish school and then marriage is a mandatory part of life. Mm. You know, you really want to understand yeah. what is this marriage that people look up to and yeah. people mm. always, you know, anticipate. All the, actually for ladies, yeah. I mean, they <laughs> have a fairy tale of what they want to mm. have from their story. And, yes. You know, yes. we all have that Prince Charming already. You have a, <laughs> we have our wedding dresses by them since when we were so young. You have an sure. idea of what you want to sure. have. Yeah, yeah, that reality yeah. keeps coming and makes you see what you need to have. Yeah, so, yeah. you want to understand what is marriage? Yes, Wow. wow. Uh, great. Uh, thank you, Mother. It's really a sensitive discussion. It's really a broad uh, thing to talk about marriage. Mm. But I think um, I can pick it from somewhere that uh, basically marriage is a perfect institution which was uh, out of God from the very beginning. Mm. And uh, because it is a God's idea, mm. we can comfortably say that it's a gift. Mm. It is good, it is godly. Mm. And uh, the Bible says that every good gift mm. comes from God, including marriage. Mm. And then, uh, so it, in, it involves two people, mm. mature adults, female and male. That is the order of God. Mm. The others are uh, confusions which <laughs> the, the original idea of God was two people, yes. female, female and male. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, these two people come together mm -hmm. in love. Mm. And when they come together, it is all about the purpose of God. Mm. It, is, it was created to provide companionship and then to help in raising godly offspring, mm. to help each other, to complement each other, mm. to fulfill the very purpose of God for their lives. Mm. So marriage, God brought it into picture mm. uh, to, to, uh, to provide for companionship and friendship, mm. to complement each other in fulfilling the purpose of God. Marriage is not for, it was not basically for procreation or sex as many young people think. As they rush into it, they think it's all about sex, they're about procreation. No, that, is, that was not the original idea of God. Mm. Sex and uh, procreation is part of it, mm. but it is not the entire picture. The entire picture of marriage is companionship, friendship, mm. yeah, to, help, uh, to help God raise godly offspring, mm. and also to exemplify the relationship of God, of Jesus Christ with church. Mm -hmm. Because it is the only perfect institution through which God can provide a physical representation of how he relates with the church. Mm. That's where the Bible says, husband, your husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And then the wife, Anambiwa, submit mm. as the way the church submits to the Lord. So it is basically, it was institution perfect, all that of God, to provide that aspect, that it can exemplify to mankind the agape love of God, mm -hmm. how God loves mankind, yeah. and what Christ has done for their church and their relationship. Mm -hmm. And then another thing to note is that marriage is, is optional, is a choice. It is optional, is a choice. This means that uh, somebody, a woman or a man, can fulfill God's purpose for their lives fully, 
without being in marriage at their choice. Mm -hmm. So a young man somewhere, you should never spend the entire of their lifespan chasing whom to marry or whom to be married. You should be complete mm -hmm. in yourself because God created you with all abilities to fulfill the purpose of God. Yeah. Uh, even without being in marriage, it is a choice. It is optional. But it is God's plan and purpose for person. Because the Bible says, when you read Proverbs 18-22, it says, a person who gets a wife, a man who finds a wife, he obtains favor from God. He obtains, other versions say, he obtains approval. Mm -hmm. He obtains divine will, even divine goodwill. Meaning, there is, a, there is a divine will and divine approval for every man that is given of God regarding them coming into marriage. Mm -hmm. So basically, that is marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And especially mm -hmm. love the last part where you mentioned mm -hmm. it's actually the, the you know the picture of God's relation to his church. Yes. yes. People don't know that marriage is actually the place where God prepares you for eternity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They think marriage is all about themselves and God yes. is actually in marriage too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like he's the last and only chance yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to make to, to develop your character. And I feel like yes. the development of your relationships is actually in, in marriage. marriage. Yes. Sure. Where you really get to to be tested, your patience is tested. Yes. Mm. Your, you know, all your limits are getting, getting mm. to be tested. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So for me, um, I, I think that point is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah. People can understand that marriage yeah. is not just yeah. for, for the simple things they think it's yes. about. Mm. It's yes. actually where salvation is grown because yeah. God is looking for eternity. Yeah. For better beings who come to stay with mm. you in yeah. the institution mm. of marriage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to hear from the female side of this. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's also good to highlight mm -hmm. that just like you said, it's the part, let's put it as character development. <laughs> it's the part it's good to note that marriage is not about two very similar people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually about two very different people. Mm -hmm. Different people raised in different kinds of environments, different people with different needs. But these two different people, just as my husband has said that it is perfect, now come together in mm. this perfect institution. So mm. I think it's a good thing for everyone that is entering into marriage to understand that the marriage itself is perfect, uh, but yeah. the two of us coming into it are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we will discuss broadly that, but it's good to understand that we are coming into this differently. My thinking doesn't have to be like yours. My yeah. perceptions of things don't have to be like yours. Mm. They are absolutely different. Mm. Yeah. And then just to add on what my wife has said, uh, uh, marriage, marriage uh, has the tendency of taking after the nature of those who are involved in it. Mm. You see, it is perfect. Mm. It's sacred. It is holy. But I think most of the young people, maybe they think there's a place you enter in marriage and then it will produce its own sweetness for you. No. Now, marriage takes the nature of those who are involved. Mm -hmm. You carry your own completeness, mm -hmm. you carry your own goodness, you carry your own sweetness into marriage. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't have its own sweetness. Mm -hmm. Marriage is made sweet by the people who are in it. Yeah. So marriage, your marriage will take after the nature of the people who are in it. If mm -hmm. the people are good, they, are, they carry in themselves some completeness. Mm -hmm. Then that marriage will be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So it is this, you carry your own sweetness your spouse carries their own sweetness mm -hmm. and then when we come together because this institution is perfect mm -hmm. then that complements each other yeah. and then we form a joyous and happy marriage mm -hmm. because we can come here and tell you that marriage is so sweet you guys should enter into marriage but it determines with the person whom you are entering yeah. in marriage yeah. because definitely mother to tell you the truth and even our viewers is that marriage will change you yeah either for good or on the other direction mm. Yeah, it, will, it has to derail that to focus your destiny mm. or to derail your, for your focus. Mm. Because it, it, it determines with the person whom you have come together yeah. in marriage. Mm. Yeah, so th I, 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 I felt I needed to put mm. that in place, mm. that marriage will take after the nature of the people who are involved in it. Yes. Yeah, it has to take that nature. Yeah. That is true. Because yeah. we think that's why we can never compare ourselves to anyone. Because yeah. mm -hmm. we are all definitely different human beings mm -hmm. yes. coming together. Mm -hmm. yes. The only manual we need to have is God. Yeah. Yes. Who is directing us to 
the yeah. right path, yeah. having mm-hmm. the right sweetness. Yes. yes. Accordance to what he has for us. Mm-hmm. Yes. I want to just, um, before we go for the break, yes. mm-hmm. I want to, to, to ask one question in regards to what we are discussing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, what is one thing you thought marriage was that you've come to discover? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. we're talking about what marriage really is. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we were all young. Yeah. And I know at one point you never never born married. There's so many things you thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what marriage is. And now you've come to marriage, you realize it's not. It's mm-hmm. not. Or rather, you realize it doesn't take all that is in marriage. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think I'll start on that. The first, I, I have so many, but I'll say, I'll number, the, as you said, ladies, we always have that fantasy <laughs> of what marriage really is. Uh, I think, and that's why I highlighted the part of the different personalities. I really think I had this kind of a thinking that we will think the same way. Mm. Now that we have known each other for quite some time, we have yeah. dated, he has to think the way I'm thinking. We have to to arrive at almost the same thing. We will never differ, actually. I think I should yeah. put it that way. Mm. Because I remember a, a few moments before we got married, people would tell me the way people differ, and I would be like, ah, I've been in a relationship for almost four years. I mean, mm. even I if there have been serious. differences, like, what do you mean? How can I differ with my, my, my husband? So I came to realize that these differences are not coming because because he is a bad person or he's deciding to be mean to me. Mm. I think that is one thing that really hit so hard. Mm. That mm. for real, I am not happy with this. And then later I come to realize, oh, it was about his personality. Yeah. So I think I thought because now we are married and we are one, our thinkings will be the same. Mm. Everything will be synchronizing like in every way. Yes. And mm. so those things before uh, I actually came to learn, this is the kind of things that he likes and these are the kind of things that I like. Mm. And I get to, like it's like getting to his space, into his world, mm. to be able to make him happy. So I think that part is one really sensitive part. That's why I said, like, marriage is about understanding that we are different in our ways, in what mm. we want, in what we are, we are so different. The other thing I, I, I really thought was marriage, and that was not the case. You see, the way... Um, before you get there, it was about family <laughs> and friends. Mm-hmm. And I think we will touch on that. I'll just say it briefly that I thought I can keep my friendships the way they were. Mm-hmm. I can go out with my friends anytime that I want. Mm-hmm. Not really, of course, with this permission, but I expected it should be easy. Yeah. It mm-hmm. should be, honey, I'm hanging out with my friends. I'll come home at around this time. But it wasn't that. <laughs> it wasn't that. I had to adjust to that. Mm-hmm. I thought it would be as easy as I want to meet mom because we had a serious emotional attachment with my mother. Mm. So those are some of the things that I really pictured marriage to be. Like I pictured like my, my, my space will not be gotten into as such, let me put it that way. Mm. And also that we will be similar in the way we think for everything and every perspective. Mm. But that was not the case. Mm. Yeah. I like what you're saying because yeah. one of the major things that has brought has made it hard for young people who get into marriage, mm-hmm. thinking that, you know, we are the same. Yeah. We don't even mm-hmm. know actually they attracted each other because they were opposites. Yeah. You know, at opposites mm-hmm. attract at first. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Attack yeah. each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you know, you want to start realizing, maybe I like to because I am a quiet person. Yeah. 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 I'm not in, I'm like, wow, mm-hmm. you have to drop. Then I get into the house and I get mm-hmm. tired of your mm-hmm. jobs because it's now an everyday thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then I realize I can't even sustain this yes. kind of thing. So again, the opposite becomes an issue. Yeah. So, I mean, now man, knowing that you're different mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. now adjusting to the different yes. process yeah, yeah, yeah. the closeness yes. and the understanding later on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Ronan, I think it's, yeah. it's a very important point. Yeah. 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 We want to hear you shortly. Yeah. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I think I'll talk on behalf of so many young people mm. because uh, they think as long as I'm in love, mm. it's okay. Uh, why why do you want to marry? Uh, I'm in love. <laughs> why do you want to go in with I can't do with them. Mm. When I see them, I don't know what happens. Now, I realize that uh, love is more of emotional part. Mm. And uh, or even beauty, mm. appearance. Mm. Just the physique is just emotional. Mm. And that one does not 
sustain the marriage. It cannot keep it going. It's not the lifeline of marriage. Mm -hmm. I came to realize it is more of the choice which I made. Mm. It's more of choice. That the VC, come the feelings which you have towards each other, they wear out. Mm. And especially I think as you talk to these people, that you should, as you look for a spouse, you should be more keen on character. Mm. More keen on character and not the looks. Mm. Because I'm telling you, after the honeymoon, the looks, you will not see them again. What you will see now is how this person is behaving, mm -hmm. how this person is talking to me, mm -hmm. how this person is unkind. Mm -hmm. If you looked for six pack, in Asia, Africa, Mali is a six pack. <laughs> zipote. If you looked for size, this size, in Africa, Mali, pote. Uh -huh. So basically, I thought just because we are in love, ah, mm -hmm. we are good to go. We are going, this thing, we are going to do it. Just because we love each other, mm -hmm. there is that emotional part. Mm -hmm. But I came to realize it is more of choice mm. and knowledge. And, the and actually commitment. Yeah. It is choice and commitment. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know that the commitment comes with knowledge. Yeah. So yeah. that's where the mo many young people should invest more in knowledge yeah, yeah. about marriage. Mm. It's not about the feelings, the love. So I thought that we will never have any disagreement. Mm. I thought we love each other the way we are doing it. It is going to it's gonna be fine just by the virtue of we love each other. Mm. But I realize this kunazi kutamka uzikia utai ku ku kuonge na mtu. Like any una you you have to because yes. uh, they are with you there, you have to say hi, good morning. Mm. But I'm telling you, neza amka zubu pate. Even amganga unapata missed calls. Zafianzi, unapata fifteen, na messages zingine unanza kuzijibu. Ineza fika mahali ukuwa na yapo kwa nyumba na maybe in the morning, you don't want to say good morning. Because it was all about feelings, they, yeah. they, they falter, they change, they mm. alter. But so what keeps the marriage going, mm. the lifeline, mm. is the commitment mm. and it is the love. The commitment which I made to this one, mm. I chose this one. Yeah, so I think that's my point of view concerning that issue. Yeah. But you see that we should not talk like that so that the young men can fear entering into marriage. Yeah. No. Marriage is a blessing. Mm. Marriage is pleasurable. Yeah. It is just pleasurable. Them just yeah. them to be ready. The same yes. Five years to prepare to yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Like yes. 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 Prepare Preparation is yes. very important. The problem is we get there very, very mm. not prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it comes, it hits us so hard. Some may not get themselves up. Mm. Yes. yes. They easily get up because maybe yes. they are already prepared in other areas of life. Yeah. Mm. It's easy for them to understand the principles. Yes. Come in marriage as well. Yes. Wow, so that is it for you, young guys. I mean, I don't want to even add so much on it, and I know mm -hmm. we still have more in the second segment. Mm -hmm. For now, keep on meditating on that. Are you working on what they are telling you? Because I want your work to happen, Danny. <laughs> yeah, and we might have a very vicious, rather very vague picture of mm -hmm. what marriage is when we don't understand the reality of it. Yeah, so stay tuned. We will be right back. Woman, you may not have clarity on your purpose now, but it gets clearer along the journey. And that is why we bring you the Deborah Generation Show, where we will be redefining our position in the journey of womanhood. Join me on Wema TV's YouTube channel as we learn and unlearn from the different portraits of biblical women and get inspired by amazing real life experiences from the guests that we'll be having on this show. See you then. Welcome back guys. We are glad to have you again for this second part of our show today. It has been lit. I mean, it has been very, very hot. This is real. And for real, you might experience more of this. this is just a few of the things that you are to experience when you get to marriage. So at this segment, we want to discuss a few things that young people do that set the wrong conditions for marriage mm -hmm. so we can avoid them. You know, most yeah. of these things, maybe we do not know they are going to cause issues when you get mm -hmm. to the other side of life, mm -hmm. the other side of the bridge. So, um, you can take it over from there. Yeah, yeah. So the things which the young people do, which tend to affect their future life in marriage. The first thing I should like to say is that uh, foundation is very important. Foundation is the key to everything. 
Even the Bible talks about foundation in Psalms 11. Talks if the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Meaning if the foundation is faulty, what else can be done? Mm -hmm. So in courtship and relationship basically is the place where you set the foundation of your marriage. Mm -hmm. So you should check on the foundation you are building. The Bible in the book of Luke 7, it talks about two guys who heard the words of Jesus. Yeah. And one did, the other one did it do. So the one built his house on the foundation of rock. Yeah. The other one on the foundation of sand. He just removed some soil and placed his house there. Yeah. So when he did that, the Bible says that there are two, there are the things which came upon the house which was built. The Bible talks of a storm came, the wind came, the rain came, it beat upon the house. You see, the same conditions beat two houses, but the results were different. Mm. Why? Because one house was built on a foundation, strong foundation of the rock, mm. the other one was built on sand. Mm. So the same issues can beat two different kinds of marriages. Mm. And one marriage comes down, the other one stands. Mm. Actually the Bible, is to, it talks about this house, it talks about how great the fall was the house. So basically foundation is everything. If there is a crack on the roof here, we we'll just need to mend the roof. But if there is a crack at the foundation, it can only be made by removing the whole house. Mm. So foundation is so key because it carries the weight of the whole structure. Mm. So in courtship, in relationship, is where we, you are setting the foundation. So it is so key, but there are so many people who do so many blunders there, which affect their future life. And one of them is very key is because of love, overlooking the issues which come up during courtship. Mm -hmm. Because there are, marriage will not change their character. Mm -hmm. It will take the nature of which the people have. Mm -hmm. Marriage, if it does anything, mm -hmm. is to amplify the character. Mm -hmm. If somebody was dysfunctional alone, yeah. when it comes to marriage, the marriage provides a wider platform to amplify their dysfunction. Mm -hmm. So it will not cure some things. They remember the, the habits which are formed in a relationship, mm -hmm. they will spill over to marriage, mm -hmm. either knowing or unknowingly. Yeah. Because marriage will not change their character. Mm -hmm. So it is so good for the young people to pay attention. Mm -hmm. During dating, it is time where you spend time to know each other. It's, mm -hmm. it's good to pay attention mm -hmm. and don't overlook. Yes. Just because you, are, you don't have an option, mm -hmm. maybe you, you got pregnant mm -hmm. with this person, mm -hmm. to anyoe. I can't have a, a child without a father. Mm. No, you have to pay attention to those things because I usually say it is better mm. to have a to break a relationship mm. than to have a broken marriage. Wow. So pay attention to the things which come up mm -hmm. during uh, courtship. Don't overlook them. So basically, looking into the character more than yeah. just look, the company. Look into yeah. the character. Mm -hmm. yes. Like for example, if somebody is not sympathetic to you during the courtship. Mm. They will be hurtful in marriage. Yeah. If you just organize for a coffee, like with my wife, mm. and she came late just for five minutes, and you find the guy fuming, <laughs> almost breathing with the difficulties because, because of hunger, mm. fuming, standing on the, on the table and saying, this thing cannot, be, cannot happen. Now, can I, my time is very precious. Yeah. Now, you need to be very careful because such a thing can repeat in marriage. Mm. So don't overlook wow. such things. Yeah. Are you able to bear up with somebody who has short temper. Yeah. Mm. If you can't, mm. then it is good to take action even mm. before you proceed so further because the more you relate with them, the more you share some deeper information concerning their life, the deeper the bonds yeah. which you form. Yeah. And there is a stage a relationship can go until if you break from there, it is what we call premarital divorce and it can carry the same pain mm. and the same emotional stress just like a normal divorce. Mm. So it's good to pay attention. Pay attention. Even pay attention the way they are talking to the waiters. Mm -hmm. If just soup spills on the table and they, they really handle those waiters with a lot of, mm -hmm. with no kindness, they're being sympathetic, they handle them with a lot of bitterness, mm -hmm. then you should be very careful because also in the future when you get married, you your, soup, your soup can also get spilled. <laughs> yeah. And you might pass the same thing. Mm -hmm. There is no way, Mura, there is no way, Martha, you, I can show kindness to one person, but for you it is special. I don't get angry with you. Mm. I get angry with the others. No, character is shown to all people. Yeah. It is inborn. It so it, it has to yes. be consistent. The way I'm dealing with you, yeah. the way I'm dealing with the waiter, with the conductor. Mm. If the guy, they are social tempered, even to the, even the girls. Mm. If you mess a bit, 
if they quarrel you in the presence of people, they will slap you when you get married. Mm. They will slap and they will deal with you. So you should be able to pay attention mm. to the things so which come up. The person, yeah. Be yes. very keen towards seeing and knowing the person. Yes. Because mm. most of the times we just want to, like you were saying, enjoy their company. Mm. That's all I want to have yeah. and feel. And uh, most of the time, like you were just saying right now, <laughs> that, that it gets worse in marriage. That's why we say, I, 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 I dispute the fact that they keep on saying love is blind. Mm. So this marriage is very open. <laughs> if, you, if your love is blind, then the marriage will open that eye. <laughs> in the right stage, in the right stages. But yeah. trust you me, when you get to marriage, you yes. understand. So this is who I've actually yeah. been with this whole time. Yeah. Yes. And you ignored the simple things yes. you were talking about. Yes. Right now. So yes. be keen and of course the wisdom. Mm. Be keen. Not allowing emotions to take over yeah. yes. yeah. yes. this process of knowing the past. Yes. Yes, wow. but also maybe before she comes up, it is good also to note. I'm not saying that so that you be so keen. Mm -hmm. Be so keen. This uh, making point point noted. Yeah. He, he came late. Mm. I saw her very angry. You make <laughs> note. You become so <laughs> occupied. Mm -hmm. You see, you amplify what you want to see. Yeah. So it is also good to be gracious, not to be really keen. I want to know this person. Mm. I heard some people to talking in a show that I should pay attention to the things which come up in a relationship. So I need to be very keen with this person. Yeah. No, they are still human beings. Yeah. They will do mistakes. Okay. So you should be gracious because you, you know yourself. Yes. You know yourself. It is not easy to handle you. Mm. So you should also provide that gracious mm. need for that the person. For God yes. Comes in Good. Tell you when yeah. The, the, the right thing, mm. the yeah. wrong thing has come up. Yes. And you get to know yeah. the conviction of yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Martha, it's indeed hot here. <laughs> yeah. I think the yeah. other the other thing that so many youth and especially in our times are really overlooking and are really making a blunder about is sex. That one mm. we cannot fail to mention. Yeah. That has become the norm of our times. How will I know he's a man? How will I know she's a woman? You know those excuses that young people are giving for sex. Mm. Yet sex in its own is, is a gift that God has given to only married people. Yeah. That's the truth that mm. even the people that get involved in it before marriage yeah. know. Mm. The other thing about sex is that it will bring disrespect between mm. you people because mm. it mm. makes you think, it makes you think this person, you mean it was so easy to get this from them? Mm. You mean it was so easy to just sleep with yeah. this girl? Yeah. You yeah. mean it was yeah. easy for this man to, mm. you know? it brings disrespect, which will definitely spill over mm -hmm. even in marriage. So it affects the foundation very, very much. Yeah. The other thing that sex does is that there's a time we were talking with my husband and he was telling me, you first begin by being faithful to God mm -hmm. before you are faithful to your partner. Yeah. So if you cannot be faithful to God saying that sex is wrong before marriage, what makes you think you will ever be faithful to your partner? Mm -hmm. You cannot. It just makes you think you can sleep around. Yeah. Because it was easy with my partner at first, even before we got the blessing of marriage. Mm. So even now in marriage, it is an easy thing. So it encourages that yeah. unfaithfulness. Yeah. The other thing that I encourage, I think it kept us going when mm. we were dating mm. about sex is that there's always the joy of knowing there's a part of him that I haven't gotten to know. And I know the only place I am allowed to know it is in marriage itself. Mm. Mm. So it keeps, it motivates you to move towards the marriage itself, to enjoy now what has been provided in that marriage. Yeah, yeah so that's a part that we cannot refuse, that it destroys foundations totally. Mm. It affects... It, 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 it cuts the journey short. Yeah, yeah. 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 The moment people don't know how sex is powerful, yeah. mm. the point, it takes you deeper into the relationship when you're yes. supposed to be Yes. Happy. Yes. Because yes. the relationship becomes hard. Yeah. And if you mm -hmm. have to, you go through a lot of pain. A lot of pain. So sometimes, you know, even medics have said when you have sex, there's a chemical change <laughs> in your mind yeah. Yeah. that makes your mind not think much, yes. but feel more. Yeah. So you can't even see the things you need to see. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That is, of course, the, the emotional part has been activated too deep. Mm. I can't mm -hmm. see the negative mm -hmm. things I need to see. Mm. And mm. when we get to marriage, mm. that is when I begin seeing some things that mm -hmm. I never had time because I was focusing on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everything. That is very important. I want yeah. us to just conclude. I yeah. mean, time has really gone, and <laughs> mm -hmm. we so much wanted to discuss about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but <clears throat> there's one thing I don't want us to leave out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the aspect of cohabiting. Of course, yeah. nowadays people think they have to try it out mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. really get mm -hmm. into marriage. You know, we're trying to get safe. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same, same things because they are yeah. seeing so many marriages break and you can't blame the young people for thinking like that. Mm. I mean, yes. they're just trying to bring a safe haven from for themselves by being extra cautious. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that yeah. I don't end up where my parents ended up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in one minute, mm-hmm. I just want one of you okay. to speak about that. Yeah. Cohabiting, cohabiting. I think it is not very far from what my wife has said mm-hmm. because cohabiting is going in to live together mm. because I want need to know this person, uh, what kind of, of a person he is, and then uh, cohabiting will allow you to have sex before marriage. Basically, it is. I'll just summarize what my wife has said about having sex in marriage. It breeds that disrespect, and then that disrespect because what makes you unique as my spouse, some as mm-hmm. my fiancé. Is because there are some things which I have not discovered in you, mm. because you have been left to be discovered in the confines of marriage. Mm. So that makes you unique, makes you honorable, mm. makes you precious to me. Mm. So when that one is exploited, when they go in, first of all, even the cohabiting is against the God standards, mm. because you are building the foundation and mm. you want God to come in. The Bible says in the beginning, God, mm. you want God to come in, in the foundation to be part of you. Mm-hmm. But when you go in to cohabit in the sense that I want to know them. First of all, you are showing your back on God's standards. Mm. In marriage, it was ordained to work in God's principles, mm. to, to work according to the word of God. So if you show your back on the principles of God, of not having sex before marriage, not going in to live together before marriage, then you already the foundation, before we go to the institution, the, the foundation is faulty. Mm. And then another thing which is very, impo- very important is cohabiting will, will will lead to breaking of trust mm. because when the disrespect comes in what comes in mind is uh, in the mind of man is uh, in some people is that oh, this thing is so cheap i didn't know i can have it and go free mm. i i didn't know i can have it without commitment without discipline mm. without much things i can have it anyhow mm. so that one brings disrespect mm. it breaks trust because it brings in the issue of suspicion. Mm. If if you slept with me before marriage, what will prevent you when you have a company trip to Mombasa to sleep with another woman? Mm-hmm. So it brings the issue of suspicion. Mm. And that suspicion brings another issue of quarrel, strife, and ending strife. Strife which has no stop or pause is because of that issue of suspicion. Because marriage can never thrive mm. when there is in the environment of suspicion. That suspicion takes you to another stage of unfaithfulness. Because you fear this person is expecting this person is doing things. So you also decide to do such a thing. Mm-hmm. And faithfulness. Now if God does not intervene in such a situation, it will lead to divorce. Because of unfaithfulness. Yeah. So cohabiting is not the will of God. Mm-hmm. It's again it's the word of God. Mm-hmm. We should wait. We should wait. It is possible to know somebody from a distance. Yeah. Really yes, because, we want, yeah, because yeah. we want to do this thing according to the will of God. You want God to work with you from the beginning. Then involve him in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Let God be part of the foundation of what you're building. So a cohabiting will not help. Actually, even research. I, I, I did some research. It says that uh, the higher percentage of those who have cohabited, they don't end up into marriage. Yes. And if they end into marriage, it doesn't, they, it doesn't last. Yes. So cohabiting is a no. Yeah. Believe God. Use wisdom. God has given you wisdom to know this person before. And mm-hmm. above all, be a God-fearing person. Because mm. mother, to tell you the truth, it takes an aspect of spirituality mm. and some grace. Mm. And some grace to make it in marriage. Because it's a spirituality altogether. Yeah. So without that spirituality, you risk a troubled marriage. Mm. I don't know whether I can read a scripture here uh, that talks about marriage. Is in a, is in is in Matthew 19 verse 11. Mm-hmm. If I can have it, Matthew 19 11. Verse, il- verse 19 11 in message. Mm-hmm. Mm, honey, would you get it? Mm. In message. I want to read it in message. Uh, but Jesus said, not everyone is mature enough to live in a married life. It requires a certain aptitude and grace. Marriage isn't for everyone, for there are some eunuchs which were born so from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men, and there are eunuchs which made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom. And then he talks about, he that is able to receive it, let him receive it. 
So message in that part it says, if you are able to grow into the largeness of marriage, mm -hmm. then do it. Yes. Meaning there is a largeness that comes with marriage. Mm -hmm. There is an expansion, increase that comes with marriage. But before, it is started by saying that there is an aptitude, mm -hmm. there is a maturity, and there is a grace mm -hmm. that is needed in marriage. Mm -hmm. So you need an aspect of spirituality, mm -hmm. being with God mm -hmm. to sustain this institution of marriage. Wow. I don't know what to say. I mean, because of time, I won't have a parting shot for today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I know you have spoken what is needed to yeah. these guys. And I yeah. hope all of you guys are getting to hear what matters. We have mentioned a few of the things that mm -hmm. maybe doesn't cover everything that you need to know. But they're very important and they're very needful. You might go and even relate to your life. And we hope this message will help you see the gaps mm -hmm. in your life. But most importantly, may God's wisdom guide you. Because most of the time, we all have our own things to say. And maybe mm -hmm. it's not 100% of the issue. But mm -hmm. God has the clear aspects of your personal life and even mm -hmm. your future. And He is the answer to your life and to your questions. Yeah. But as we have said, keep this in mind. That love is blind, but marriage will open your eyes. Please <laughs> keep with God. He will keep your eyes open throughout so that you can have the right marriage. Thank you for joining us today. May you have yourself a peaceful and blessed evening. Amen.